Hello to you all from Ludlow. My name is Wayne and I am the I am here. I hope you're all well since my last video. And can I ask, has anything changed for you? Well, for myself, my facial hair has increased. In fact, I've come to the conclusion that instead of being six foot three, I should have only been five foot 11. Why you may ask? Well, it looks like the hair on my head has stopped at five foot 11 and is now coming out of my face. Anyway, enough of that. In this time, what has changed for you? I last shared about tending the garden of your heart. And this week, I would like to share with you about breathing and breath. I found that when lockdown began, I took a breath. The world slowed. This was for some and not for all. But for myself, the diary was decimated and the busyness suddenly stopping. I took a breath. The world took a breath and it started to heal. I took a breath in God to begin processing the things I'd pushed to the side in all my busyness. The yes, God, we'll get round to that at some point. But I couldn't seem to slow down enough to take the time. Now, in the Bible, the word breath is mentioned 4,804 times. In Genesis 2, verse 7, the Lord God formed that is, created the body of man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And the man became a living being, an individual, complete in body and spirit. In John 20, 22, Jesus, he breathed on them and said to them, receive the Holy Spirit. There is something amazing about breath and breathing. We know it's the very thing that keeps us alive, drawing oxygen into our bodies. We can experience such wonders that affect our breathing, but also how we use the word in our language for good and bad. I breathed a sigh of relief. He's breathing down your neck. Why don't you just catch your breath? Don't waste your breath. Excuse me for breathing in the same breath. It cleans your breath while it cleans your teeth. That's a Colgate advert. It takes your breath away, like a breath of fresh air. Take a few deep breaths under your breath. And lastly, do you think they'll do a good job repairing the roads? Don't hold your breath. We, when we feel anxious, can be helped by taking deep breaths. It's the same when we partake of relaxation techniques. There are so many terms and uses for this word. Yet in this time, COVID attacks our very breath. The virus can be distributed by our speaking the droplets in our breath. We have to distance from one another in order to be safe. We wear PPE to protect ourselves and others masking our very breath and rightly so. But in all this, there is beauty in taking a breath in God to slow down and to come into his presence. To know that the very essence of our life was breathed into each and every one of us by God. That we breathe in his love, joy, peace and hope. That we can then carry that out to others. I wanted to share with you one of my favourite hymns by Edwin Hatch. And I often just pray this. It's called Breathe on Me, Breath of God. Breathe on me, breath of God. Fill me with life anew. That I may love what thou dost love and do what thou would do. Breathe on me, breath of God. Until my heart is pure, until with thee I have one will to do and to endure. Breathe on me, 
breath of God, till I am wholly thine, until this earthly part of me glows with fire divine. So in this time, as lockdown restrictions ease, are you rushing back to the things you did before? Are you anxious about going back out into the world? Or are you just fed up and want to get back to the normal? Well, I want to encourage you. As the pressure comes, as expectations arise, as your diary fills, take a breath. Sit with God. Breathe him in and breathe him out. Stay safe and be blessed.